Hi there, I'm David Cochran, and I want to welcome you to the ESAR 2014 conference. It's going to be this September, in September 25 through 28. So that's a Thursday through a Sunday. I am one of the speakers. I'll be speaking on Sunday, the last day of the conference. And my topic is house systems. The title I've given to my lecture is, what house system do you use? You know, this, this is a question, if you're an astrologer or you've gotten pretty deep into astrology, this always comes up. You know, what house system do you use? Oh, I use Placidus, I use Coke, I use all sign. You know, it just keeps coming up all, all the time. Um, and it seems like there's never any way to resolve it. Everybody has their favorite house system or systems. But what I'm going to do in this lecture, uh, this is fun. Way back in the 70s, I started uh, being a professional astrologer in my early 20s. So in, in the 1970s, I was seeing uh, lots of clients. I was a full-time astrologer, seeing about 10 people a week. And after a few months, uh, getting into about a half a year after doing this, I started getting panic attacks, like, am I using the right house system? You know, I would draw it up in Placidus, and everything was in the eighth house, and then I did Campanus, it was in the seventh house. All the rulerships changed. So I did a really, what now I think is a really cool thing. I really highly recommend this. I went through my files. I went through the client files. And I thought to myself, I looked at somebody's chart, and was there a planet in a house that I was convinced must be true? Like if the person's traveling all the time and is philosophical and Sun and Mercury and Jupiter would be in the ninth house, I figured that must be the case. So maybe one out of every three or four clients, there might be one or two planets. I was sure that they must be in a certain house. Well, not completely sure, but as sure as you can get, right? So I collected this, and after a while, I had I had made a big table, different house systems, which planets. I had about 100 clients in there. It started to make sense. So what I'm going to share with you is how this sorted out, which house system worked when I put it in the table. And then there was a second phase of research. After I started figuring, started figuring out what house systems work, now I could look at all the planets and figure out what the houses mean. I compared ideas from Rudyard, from Vedic the more typical ideas, and put together this stuff. Anyway, it's fun. I think you're going to find this really interesting. Compare it to your own observations if you're a professional. If you're not, it's just going to be cool. There's going to be so many great lecturers, so many great astrologers. It's a great place to meet a lot of people, have fun, get away. If you can get Thursday and Friday off, have an extended weekend, get out to, to this beautiful hotel uh, where everything is being held. So I hope you can make it. Love to see you there. Take care. God bless.